knockdown textures on interior walls have become a popular trend. The surface can help hide drywall imperfections, but more importantly, it can add style to any living space, complementing a home's look and decor. But what happens when the wall accidentally gets damaged or needs repair? Don't worry, Marshalltown is here to help with our easy-to-use knockdown texture repair stencils. The knockdown texture stencils come in three patterns, one for smaller knockdown textures, one for medium textures, and one for larger textures. They are all designed to mimic common patterns on textured walls and are large enough to tackle most repairs. The first step is to repair the area that is damaged. Drywall compound and a small putty knife will fix most minor repairs. Once the compound is dry, sand it flush with the surface of the wall. Now the wall is ready for the new texture. If you haven't used a repair stencil before, you may want to try it on a sample board first. A piece of scrap drywall or smooth cardboard will work for a test run. The first step is to locate the stencil over the repair area to find a good match. Then, tape the stencil in place at the corners with masking tape. Using a medium-sized putty knife, apply a small amount of drywall compound over the repair area. As you apply the compound, scrape the putty knife across the top of the stencil to keep the texture flat. Slightly overlap the new pattern onto the existing texture around the repair area. Carefully remove the stencil and let it dry. The texture repair stencils are reusable, so it's a good idea to clean up the stencils as soon as possible. Soak them in water for about 20 minutes. Wipe off any leftover compound and rinse with clean water. Some walls have additional texture in and around the knockdown surface. You can dab small amounts of compound around the area with a texture repair sponge if this is the case. Thinning the compound can help produce better results. Another option is to use a stiff brush, like a wire or grouting brush, to flick additional compound material within the knockdown area. Now it's time to sand the texture down to the same level as the existing texture. Again, sand the sample board first to get an idea how much material to remove. A hand sanding block will help keep it flat. Once you are satisfied with the test sample, sand the texture down on the wall to match the existing texture. Work around the edges to feather in the best you can. If the texture repair doesn't quite match, don't worry. It doesn't have to be perfect. The goal is to blend in the surrounding area the best you can to make the repair less noticeable. If it didn't turn out the way you like, you can always sand it back down and start over. Once it's complete, apply a fresh coat of paint and the repair area blends in with the existing knockdown texture. Check out the Marshalltown Knockdown Texture Repair Stencils for your next repair project.